Welcome to our grain bin project. Last week we had I had talked about all the costs that we have incurred so far to get the shell of the grain bin up. So make sure you check that out if you are following our journey. I also promised at the end of the video that the next video would be pouring the concrete floor over the PEX for the radiant heating. It is raining, we are delayed, and unfortunately, no matter how much you try to schedule something out, there's always other th factors that are involved and they set you back on your schedule. So instead of skipping that video, we're gonna go out today in the rain. We are headed out to the grain bin and to see the progress. And I wanna show you the dedication of my husband today. It is raining, it's pouring, it's wet, and the driveway's even flooding. So you're gonna get a picture of that as we drive on up there um, so you can see it. I want you to see, um, our, we're near a creek and our driveway, this is the side here, it looks like it's desolate. Um, it's been windy, we're losing trees, it's crazy. But right now, here's what the driveway looks like so far. Here's the other side, but you can see how it's creeping up right here. It's pretty deep, that's why I'm in the Jeep today. And you'll see, what, oh, look over here by the tree house. This is another tree that just came down lately, right down here, and it's all flooded. It's been raining all day and he's still working. Let's go see what he got done. And you can see it right there. So it gives you an idea how far we are from, it is from the house. So we're pretty far back when we start running this out. It, you know, we'll be close enough to check on it, but far enough away that we won't feel like we're being intruded. Now look at this creek here. I'm, I'm gonna stop while I show it to you. I don't wanna go over the side. But there you can see, this creek is usually pretty low. So it's it's moving pretty fast, lots of rain, but this is, this is how we live. And there we are at the door. He is parked up here, he is working. So let's find out what's, what's going on today. All right, Carl's been working on the floor. He's gonna put radiant heating in. So these are all the tubes, which are actually called what? Level. We call them the hoses level. So this is a pet. Because it's deeper on the edge than it is in the middle. And then you'll like put concrete on top of this, right? Yep. So he's getting ready for the concrete truck to come. They'll put a floor in here on top of the pecs for the radiant heating. And then outside here, they'll put. Can I step on that? The concrete truck will um, do the foundation for the addition. This will be a kitchen out here someday. Windows have been marked on the walls. This is all has to be cut out. There's going to be four of them down here. Two more over here. And over here, near this window, near the door, will be the stairway. We'll go up. And you can see the ceiling still, there's no floors yet. You feel like we're in a big tin can. And the radius is still um, ready to be cut on the door. That goes into the kitchen area. All right, we're headed back. It's raining really bad now, <laughs> so I'm going back. One of the questions I know you're going to ask is, how is the radiant heating going to work? How is it going to be powered up? And we'll give a whole video about that once we decide. We haven't decided yet if we're going to put a boiler in or use propane or electric. We don't know, um, but we do know we're going to have the... Your, what you do is you have water running through those PEX tubes in the concrete and then all the heat's going to come up out of the concrete but we'll make another video with all the details once he makes all those decisions remember this is a process it's a journey a lot of the stuff we're deciding as we go and you can do that <laughs> if you know what you're doing right so all right guys thanks for watching and we'll continue <laughs>